Pause. I got a whip. I got a whip. Here, turn on the TV. So how good this is. All right. All right. We're ready for this? Yeah, it's so good. So you can have it. Sure. All right. So, uh, st uh, start the timer in three, two. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Three, two, one, go. How is it? Warning. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Oh, I heard a, a sound effect. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, sub all uh, game audio. Yeah, we all right. So, There's first cool thing about Zelda. Audio. There are po there are portals on the left and right sides of the screen, like this. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's like a one frame trick to be able to wrap the screen. Like it's oh. pixel perfect and frame perfect. You got to be five yeah, pixels from the edge of the screen. Come on, faster. And assuming I remember, assuming I get my root right, um, I got to do this. I remember go around like this. Um, John and wait, where's John? John, go home. And just basically slowly work my way to level two because level two is probably oh, the oh, easiest yeah, out of all the dungeons here. I remember is. when I was at John and James' There's place. There's basically and two routes that this one game of is run in. Is Matt. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was this uh, fellow that was doing uh, level three first is faster but uh, harder. Yeah. Certainly open to more risk. If you run out of bombs, it's basically That's a reset. That's I haven't seen him since June. Long, it's not like fatal, but it'll just <laughs> take a long time to recover. So, the one thing I have to remember with this route is I have to remember which keys are okay to skip. And then there's a nice little ringleader here that kills everything. No drops, which really sucks, but uh, sometimes if I'm lucky enough, I can get bombs. Um, but no matter, I can get bombs later in the dungeon, too. It's just nice having a second drop make some of the other levels easier. Also make the mold arm fight a little bit easier, too. Okay, there we go. Yeah. And we take these things out. Make a lot of money doing it. Um, there's actually... There's another trick you can do besides screen wrapping. Yeah. Which I, which I will get to once I hit level one. Yeah, exactly. So that, uh, yeah, but they can all, I was but also if they five. catch on, they can patch it. Uh, level five, level five, five is where it's most true. useful, but oh wow, nice. double bombs, nice. That's, That's why you just don't double bombs now. Yeah. Older games Full bombs, which means I can, X, which means I can fight to Dongo, and mm -hmm. come on, turn around, thank you. Okay. Make sure I get bombs back. Uh, time when I touch the Triforce piece, or split when I touch the Triforce piece. I am, according to this, eight seconds behind my current PB, which is pretty good. All right. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. All right, he's a few seconds behind. Um, mostly because I was able to get screen wrap fairly consistently. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is basically do a little bit of errand running, basically make a lot of money and make a lot of money, get a heart container or two, get the candle, and basically just make my trip trying to get the blue ring. Later on, ooh, that was interesting. Uh, make my trip trying to get the blue ring a little bit easier. You don't need the blue ring to beat the game, but I need the blue ring to beat the game. Yeah, it makes level nine a lot less scary. Um, so I do skip. Uh, I I do get the blue ring, but I skip the red ring because it's just way too much trouble to actually do it. I think you get hit more than the damage you'll actually save getting the red ring. Pretty much. At least with how I fight Wizrobes. So here's another little screen wrap. Oh, that's a good place to screen wrap, actually. For Dark Souls 2, which I um, so, chosen. because yeah. this trick is so pixel perfect, um, I'm actually cheating a little bit. There is a tiny little sharpie mark on the left side of the screen, so I know actually where to, act, where to do this thing. Because I was having so much trouble just finding a landmark normally on the screen, so there is actually some sharpie on my TV. Oh. Hey Matt, how do you uh, screen wrap? So, what you do, um, uh, actually, Rhett, Rhett can explain this while I just go out and do things. I've never been able to do it. I'm really bad at explaining it, too, but, uh... Okay, so, <laughs> so what you do is you stand on either the left edge or the right edge of the screen. You need to be standing exactly five pixels from the edge. And what you do is you, uh, you press either direction perpendicular to where you're facing for one frame. Once you do that, you can basically just walk off the edge of the screen and wrap over. Yeah, up or down, biz. I think it like alters your 
don't know if it's a subpixel positioning thing, technically, but... I don't think it's a subpixel. I think it just has to be exactly five pixels. Yeah, this game has a really weird grid-based movement system, so it's like one possible oversight, I guess. Okay. So now that I have almost everything I need here, I have the candle. Now I'm going to slowly make my way towards level one. Uh, oh, no, I have to get the white sword first. Never mind. So here's another place where you can screen wrap, and it's kind of useful. Though if you skip it, uh, this uh, this actual screen scrolls. When it scrolls to the right, it loops because you're in the Lost Hills area. Okay, one second here. I'm going to try to do something cool. Uh, it wasn't as cool as I wanted it to be, but whatever. Yeah, you're supposed to revisit that screen so that guy spawns in a better spot, right? Uh, you can, uh, you can, but I basically just started getting used to, um, hitting, uh, just hitting him out of the way and then using his little invincibility time to just walk right past him. Open up more. Uh, okay. Unintentional damage boost, one nonetheless. See if I can screen wrap this and make it a little easier. Nope. Uh, the right side's a little bit harder for me because I don't have Sharpie on that side. Okay, I give up. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm... Otherwise, I'm just going to lose too much time. Oh, and then run away from rocks. Uh, let's try this one, maybe. Nope. Oh, yeah, you can hear it a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to get one more little rupee cash, and then I'm going to run right into level one. See them do some janky warping shit. It was a secret to everybody. Oops. Me. And then maybe I can get some health too while I'm at it. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, if I die in level one, I don't lose too much time. Stop money laundering moblins. Legalize green blossom. <laughs> Another interesting little trick. The door on the top was locked. Now it's not. Huh. Um, and it's not because I'm... I'm not sure why it's intentional, but... Ooh, hark. Uh, and unfortunately, they put the Stalfos with the key on the complete other side of the room, which loses a few seconds. Um, I should probably switch the bombs now so I don't forget later. Um, there is no drop in this room, so I can skip this. But there is a drop in this room. And I just picked up another key. Uh, that uh, that bomb saves you a key later because for some reason Nintendo wants you to have like 10 million keys in this game. That's true. Get a little bit. Uh, actually, no, I didn't need that money. Okay. So there's another Gorilla fight. Um, let's see if I can. Awesome. Okay. And. In this room, you're going to see the other glitch I exploit very heavily to make things a little bit easier. So normally you push the block on the left. Oh, and... Yeah, it's it's similar to the screen wrapping trick, but you can uh, buffer the input while you have your sword out, so it's even easier to clip through blocks that are touching the corners. Also, I, I think it's oh. not quite as pixel perfect, because I swear, like, the landmark you need... Think about Link's yeah. head touching the smaller square block. Yeah, but I ones. swear I've done it a little bit lower and had it work sometimes, so I'm not sure. It's funny, that trick oh, was discovered okay. by a That's tool assist that run for a Zelda 1 ROM hack, and they thought, oh, it must not work, it must be a glitch in the ROM hack, and then they discovered it just works in the original game. So, this is the room where if you beat the enemies you get the boomerang? I don't need a boomerang. So, we're just gonna keep going. Boomerang just makes your menu slower. Yeah. <laughs> it's helpful if you're, like, a more casual oh, yeah, it's, like me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an... Uh, whether that was faster or not, I'm not sure, and let's... Wow, this is... Why am I 30 seconds ahead of my splits? Did I forget something? I don't think I'm forgetting something. I don't think you are either. When you're ahead of your splits, you always forgot Okay, well, then I guess the next thing we're gonna do is just grab another heart container here. Um, there are rupees on the screen, but I don't really need them right now. So I'm just going to grab, switch to my candle, grab this. Um, basically all of this is making it so I can get the magic sword at the right time. And also having more health is good. I don't see how. 
Well, it's, it's risky because it takes longer to refill your health after beating a dungeon, but if you play well, That's you won't get hit too much. There are 10 rupees here that I don't need. Uh, see if I can do a screen wrap here. Doesn't save me that. Oh, save me a bit of time. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll try it one more time. I'm apparently like. No, this is a good one to do. Nice. Uh, it's. There we go. Yeah. Nice. It's hard to press a D-pad direction for only one frame because you have to like flick it, and it has to be just fleshy enough that it rebounds in 16.67 milliseconds. My hands are a little bit cold right now too, and that might be affecting things too. Ah, come on. Okay. So now we get into level three. Um, this is normally the level you go in first on like the actual world record runs. Um, I'm too much of a wimp to get in there with a wooden sword and three hearts, so meh. Nah. Dark Rank Jack is so much ahead of everybody oh, else. Here he is. Boop. Well, even when TSA was running this game, he did level three first too. There's a name I haven't heard in forever. <sighs> yeah. Well, he had the SDA run for the long. Well, he had the SDA run for a lot of Zelda runs for a really long time. Okay, now we fight some Dark Nuts. Thankfully, I have the White Sword, so they only take two hits, and I don't want to waste two. Oh, that's a nice draw. Five something. The world record. Yeah. Fuck. There's this. Oh well. And then. We just have one extra key, though. I, if I, I do have an extra. I, I'm actually gonna grab it on the way out. Um, it doesn't really affect timing at all. It's a good game to practice. All right. Mm -hmm. But this game is so fucking late for speedrun. Oh, <laughs> whatever. Whatever. It's not like the bubbles do damage or anything. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch to bombs now before I forget. I wonder if I should kill. Eh, I think I should kill the three dark nuts just so I can get more bombs. Level four is so I need I need two bombs in order to get through level four. Um, and unfortunately, I don't think anything in level four actually drops bombs. And I don't really want to farm them here. And there is a guaranteed drop here, so I might as well go for that. Everybody thinks this level's hilarious because it's supposedly shaped like a swastika, but all the branches are spinning the wrong way. It's actually uh, the an eastern thing. symbol called the, the Tau. Uh, okay, see oh, if I can do this in one bomb here. It, it goes both ways, Nope. Actually. Nope. Do you Whatever. see the mandala? Does Isn't not that it? Yeah, there's a it's manji, but manji can go either which Right, the manji. Oh, split. I was gonna, oh, lost. Oh, yeah, it's because I was trying to screen wrap. Okay, so now I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one more large the, uh, rupee cash, and then I'm gonna go buy the blue ring, and then go run through level four. Oh yeah, don't forget a tenth enemy has and the bomb. And all that as that's, reminding me. that's true too. I I decided I didn't want to rely too much on uh, basically trying to remember my item drops, just because that's really stressful, and I still haven't memorized the drop lists. Wow, that was laggy. Yeah, I, I have a feel for them, but I never like count enemies when I'm playing this game. I always forget. Why you okay, so now I am maxed out on rupees. That lets me get the blue ring. Um. Yep. Highest possible uh, eight bit value, eight bit unsigned yeah. integer. Yeah. Is it even possible to fucking die in this game? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's really easy. Yeah. <laughs> this game is secretly really hard. No, I'm talking no, about Bio Force Eight. It's it's hard enough. Yeah, it's it, it's really hard to speed run well. Um, there's also a reason why I don't run. There are also reasons why I don't run second quest. Mostly because I know the first quest too well. Yeah, I was gonna say if I manage to get a charity for this marathon, I should say let's have donations for file names. And everyone immediately suggested donate for Zelda file name for this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh come on. There we go. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Basically, like Link turns around in the spot, on the spot, without moving. Except I'm not actually pressing the other way. I'm pressing a direction perpendicular. Yeah, so up or down. You can't. Well, you can screen wrap vertically, but it's not practical. So I'm not sure why. You well, actually, actually, I my attempts at screen wrapping vertically just let me end up in the HUD up top. Yeah, okay, really so funny. this might this might be a cool trick here, even though you won't be able to see what's going on. This looks silly, but he's actually block clipping in the dark. 
<laughs> yep. I just, I just 420 no scope through a block. 430 no scope. <laughs> we tend, we tend to legalize, legalize gay broccoli. <laughs> 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 Okay, so it's the green so blossom, it's from, blossom Dark from Dark Souls. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, why did it do that? Because we had we had my Dark Souls one run at the beginning, and uh, Dark Souls two is our second last run, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I at two, at two in the morning. Like we're we're bookended <laughs> by Dark Souls. It makes sense. <laughs> So there's there's gonna be a lot of uh, disappoint, a lot of oh, oh wow, oh, and a lot of disappointed Double sighing strap. when Fitz runs Dark Souls two though. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be stressful <laughs> but really exciting. Yeah, yeah. I've there's a lot of disappointed sighing when Fitz plays. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but with Dark Souls, there's a like when I I played with him when the game Crap, came out and there was twice. so much ah, I got, hit, got hit twice so, like, in a row by a keys. Yes. Just because like, I got hit the moment I picked up the ladder. Because he doesn't know the game well. Okay, one more, one more yeah. click in this dungeon. Um, in one second here, once I get to the right room. Fitz, uh, okay. I seen Fitz double die when he's uh, so this is, dead runner. This is another dark room. Maybe come back. But, yeah, maybe. Alright. There's a double ladder so, in here. Bye -bye. So I so I have a ladder here. The ladder takes you over one water tile, but this is separated by two of them. And I just crossed it. Yeah, uh, it's know. another variation of the screen wrap block thing, and you can. This so you two bombs to take this shortcut through the center of the dungeon, which skips yep. a whole bunch of rooms. Like, look how slowly the screen scrolls. And a bomb here is really handy for taking out all these wires. And sometimes they drop bombs in return, but you have to kill them with either with a bomb or the magical sword, like something that will actually destroy them outright instead of causing them to fission into two red keys like that. Then. Mm. So here's Gleok, uh, who's also in Oracle of Seasons. Right. One of the reasons why I like that game is all the throwbacks one, is all the two, three. Get the heart. Get the heart! Yay, yeah, yeah, we fill up faster on the way out. And I'm back to 30 seconds behind my PB, apparently. <laughs> Definitely missed something. I think it's oh, uh, yeah. I probably did the ladder really well this time. So now I'm gonna go straight from level four to level five. Are we gonna scream? And Cole, there when, is when he's like, "Oh right, I forgot to hit the record button." <laughs> <laughs> no, everything on my arc, uh, my stream is being archived. What? Can't wait to go uh, mine it for highlights. Oh, yeah. Were you watching I'm, any of the runs before did you just this? Lose a second in the uh, yeah. bits and pieces, yeah. That metro. Uh, I was at work most of the time, but hopefully, it just oh, I should be screen wrapping more. I'm just walking to the right, and that is slow. I wonder how much bandwidth lies around there. I bet the system can't be bothered with whatever you're doing. Come on. Picked up a game and practiced it for five weeks. <laughs> Found a stuff what that a no one ever knew what about. Is sunlight. <laughs> Found a recovery strat that nobody knew well, about. There we go. Okay. Yep. The worst part of that I'm on oh, during the marathon. <laughs> yeah, that was I pretty good. Didn't find it during practice. Charlie's during the marathon, found shit. it. <laughs> Ma yeah. Max, Max, Max is, is stream level Gucci. Yeah. Well, like yeah. Josh, I don't know about oh, you, but like, right. I was watching it and I'd never seen a run before, so just all the crazy shit. I'm like, oh yeah, that's just what's going on. So another like, another really cool screen wrap is coming in. Normally what you do in order to get into level 5 this will work. is you go into the yeah, Lost Hills and then you just walk up for a while until it decides it you're out of the maze. Gorgeous. Yeah. And now we can screen wrap out of bounds. And the right of where you're supposed to be and you do it right. Come on. Uh, I think that's too far. Shit. Nope. My phone's dead. One second. Uh. I used to be a lot better at getting the ones to the right. It's like me landing uh, Rufus FADC Ultra. I can only do it from left to right nowadays. And there we go. And I actually didn't lose that much time over non-screen wrap ways, because walking up that just takes forever. So I have one bomb, which is actually just enough to do what I need to, because I need to bomb this wall. And there's a free bomb in the next room. And then, yeah, one of the Gibdos here just drops a free bomb. If you have a boomerang, you can just stun him and then walk and take it. I, I think I can also just walk right into him and get it, but I don't want to take the damage. So unfortunately, unfortunately I switched my item on me. Yeah, because it was your last bomb, so it switched yeah. items. 
Okay, so for casual players, this is probably the worst room in the game. For me. I just went right through it. I bet you'd like to play with Matt. Yes. Yeah, this is why I can't really compete with this guy when we race this game. The room took me so long. I hate it. Unfortunately, you still have this room to deal with, but at least you don't have to fight like 11 Dark Nuts in one life. This one was even worse. <laughs> yeah, because you can't like get uh, you can't really hide behind all the blocks and like channel. The oh, you can stab through the middle blocks. Yeah. yeah. Ah, come on. That's pretty much one of the only reliable tactics. Uh, I keep forgetting. You want to stand on the squares, right? Like, yeah, I believe it's on the squares for this one, but I kind of just throw my sword around haphazardly until they die. Yeah, you, you get more time to react because they can't turn on seams. So, you, so you basically you, like, hit them as they're going over a seam. I oh, nice. Fight dark that was that was really well done. That's Wizrobes. That was five, uh, five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Wizrobes want to be on the seams and fight them vertically so that they don't shoot you. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> What's your shortest time? You gotta yeah. get acquainted with the door oh. standard. Hey! First one best. <laughs> Quit showing up! Block clipping through and block just it doesn't push. lose that much time if I fail. I see. <laughs> oh. Give me that. Wow, nobody's okay. getting that. Oh, God. Uh, I'm busy practicing. I'm going to answer it like ODNG would. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so now I get to do a really slow Gibdo oh, fight. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's too many bombs because they are a very nice commodity. Thankfully, I think Gibdos can also drop bombs if I get lucky. Or I'm like a master at counting enemies. Gibdos also do two hearts of damage if you don't have a ring of any sort. They actually do ridiculously high damage because it should be easy to just push them back and not get hit. Fucking bees. Refill my bombs a little bit. I'll turn around. There. I should be good for a little bit. Too lazy to go out there. Back from this. <sighs> oh right, I have a friggin' ladder. Yeah. Don't die, man. <sighs> okay, so there. Oh no, wait. It's not this room. It's the next room. Uh, you can get a key for killing all of the Gibdos in this room, but. That's really slow and you don't need it, so I'm just gonna kill this one that's in my way and keep going. And then we have the friggin' Cole's voices, hopefully none get in my way. And now we- oops, no, I don't have to pause yet. Now we fight Dig Dogger. So, the optimal strategy for Dig Dogger is to plant a bomb where he is, switch to the whistle, blow the whistle, let the bomb explode, let Dig Dogger get hit by the first bomb, set a second one, and now he's dead. You can do two white sword stabs as well. And I lost a whole minute. Oh, it's probably because I probably could have been screen scrolling more, but... Okay, so now now I get to go run some errands along the bottom half of the screen here. No. So, no, I'm gonna warp won't. to level two. Doesn't it take you to level and, one first? Uh... Oh, I see, right. Ba facing up, yeah. The, the whistle is weird. If you face up or left, it adds one so to the location the pointer. Stream, like, facing right mm. or down subtracts so one. And it, it yep. loops around. And it only goes to dungeons you have... Is it just the Triforce or the item, or do you need both? How would you ever get out of it? Uh, I don't remember. I, I believe it's the Triforce to some degree, but I forget exactly... I forget exactly what it is, because it, like I think it screws up a little bit if you do the dungeons out of order, but I'm not sure. Oh, you can. It's all oh, whoops, wrong screen. Next screen. Also, I need about another 13 rupees here, because uh, at this point, this is where I buy both arrows and the meat, and they total about 140 rupees. Here's 100. Um, and I need about another 30. Um, I'm not gonna go too far into it, though, just because, um, I know of at least one good rupee cache where I can actually make some money back. Um, otherwise, I would just be farming enemies, and that's where I lost a lot of time before. You're just like... So, do a little bit of screen wrapping. Uh, this is also where I get a few more heart containers, because I'm going to get the magic sword relatively soon here. My god. Come on. There we go. Yo, my god. Yo, my god. Yo, my god. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Were you thinking of the same thing as I was from the Warcraft episode? Yeah. That's yeah, just when it's like your son's character is going to die. Yeah, my god. He drops the gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite sure. episode. Sure. Here, because otherwise I'm gonna forget. Also, it's after 10 p.m. Though meat is the higher priority. <laughs> oh yeah, you have a bylaw for 10. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, the bylaw for my building for like most complaints and shit. Is so now I have enough heart containers to get the magic sword. So you can be a fucking pain in the ass. But after there is one more heart container around here, and around ooh, more bombs. That's always nice. Okay. There's there's one more heart container here. But, since I don't really need that many more heart containers, and because I want to not die in level 1, I'm getting a red potion. level 9? Fuck. Um, and now I warp to level 3, because that is closest to level 7 and the shop where I buy the meat. Um, and hopefully I can make 6 more rupees without having to do too much, but if not, I know, what, I know a few places I can get money. Um, in fact... If I, um, if I don't get a five on this screen, and I don't think I will, nope, okay, then I'm going to slowly work my way to a very tiny ruby cache this way. Level seven is just to the north, but I can't enter it yet because there's one more thing I need. Or, because I need to get the meat first. Um, but... Oh, did that do it? No, that didn't do it. Whoops. I'll get my zap back. Um, let's try that again. <sighs> it's the bottom right one, isn't it? It is. Yeah. I thought you were trying to do something fancy where you like graze it with your fire. No, I just forgot which one it was. Oh, okay. <laughs> so here's ten rupees. That's enough for me to actually go and buy meats. Which is actually better than my previous PB, where I entered level 7, got to the Grumble Grumble guy, and forgot to buy meat. So you had to walk back out? Walk all the way back, yeah, it was basically walk all the way back out, go buy the meat, walk all the way back in. Okay. The other nice thing is I have a ton of bombs, and level 7 uses a decent number of them. Did you just not take any damage from that Zora's fireball? Yes. Uh, you take a quarter heart, which doesn't show up in this game until you take oh. another quarter heart. There yep. is like a hidden quarter heart mechanic. Uh, if you're one quarter heart away from max, like the game thinks you're still at max, so you can still shoot sword beams. Sorry, what? Oh, well, that's cool. Hey man, I have a question. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was like, my. You've already what? gotten the blue ring, but it's still there. What happens if you try and buy it again? I think you just get another blue ring. Yeah, it just. Sets your uh, I'm not sure what happens if you have the red ring and you go and buy it though. Probably. So will the blue ring stack, or will it just be another blue ring that does the same? I think it just turns it into another blue ring. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure though, I've never tried. <laughs> okay, so now we're in level 7, which is probably the easiest out of the last three dungeons of the game. Because level 8 has dark nuts, or... So, level 6 and 9 have whiz robes, level 8 has dark nuts, level 7 just has gorillas. <clears throat> yeah, it's a common thing and in Nintendo games to have a late dungeon that just has easier enemies spontaneously. Just like a little breather, a little break in the action. Yeah, you saw me got hit by the keys, so you didn't take any damage, because huh? that was like the virtual quarter heart of damage. Yeah. And then getting hit uh, again. Full. Yeah, I live in a fucking huge ass. Okay, here's a dig dogger that I can it's completely ignore. All right? No, my roommates are actually great. Yeah. And I, know, I, I could also good. kill all of these enemies and get five rupees I don't need. I think so. I have a friend who lives in Rumble. 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 She's like, yeah, it's totally worth it. Oh, like, so I walk up to him, give him meat, and then he gets stomach flu and dies. You can also just be like, oh, you like five I was half square too low. Okay, so yeah, the one that's component only. Fucking lot of stress. Okay, so let's leave that here. I want Max to run something again so we can get all hype. And then, this staircase has pretty much the most useless item in the game if you know where everything is. This is where you get the red candle. Um, and the red candle is like the blue candle, except you can only use the blue candle once until you have to do the screen scroll. Oh wait, I can... Thanks, Max. See ya. See ya. Feel free to tune in and watch all night.
Nice. Or, 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 or. <laughs> they say you're going to it all night. Uh. <laughs> Get a bomb drop that I probably don't need, but... Oh, wait, I'm fighting Dig Dogger again. And this one's a special Dig Dogger, because it splits into three instead of one. Most of them are like this, actually. Especially in the second quest. That's true. Not that Dig Dogger... Ah, oh, I missed the second bomb, that's fine. See, he's still shooting beams, even though he got hit by one of the fireballs. Still in the corner, and now back to full. It's kind of so how I wish quarter hearts worked in the other games. So this room is kind of a weird red herring. Because you get here after, like, going through the whole dungeon, and it's, like, just full of three dodingos, and nobody knows why. So you have to figure out, you have to bomb your way out. Oh, wow, I got it in one bomb. That's awesome. I didn't know you could smoke them out that far back. Okay, and I hope my luck with the bubbles is good, otherwise they're going to completely screw me. No, don't get the Why clock. did I pick that up? <laughs> yeah, the clock makes the wallmasters stop coming, so you have to leave the room. You have to be, you have to get all the wallmasters to come out and kill all of them to be able to push a block, so now you should be good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would have been pretty trollsy if you got stuck over there. I think I can block... I. I I well, think I've tried it once, but I think I can block glitch through it. Well, it's on a corner, so of course you could. I don't know. I, I've had yeah, I've had some back. not. Back from the dream. I've gotten back unlucky with the dream. block glitch sometimes. I, I think for some reason, like if the blocks are too close together, sometimes it wouldn't work for me. But. Oops. Uh, How are you doing now? Wow, now I'm really behind my split. I don't know where I lost all that time. Okay. So now we got. Uh, so now we just basically have to grab the magic sword and wrap up the last few dungeons. There's one more really cool skip in here. Normally, in order to get to the graveyard, oops, you have to go through the lost woods, and it basically requires you go in like four completely game. random directions until you actually get out. Or you can be cool and just skip right through it. Now we're there. Oh. Oh. Um. So now we need. Uh, so now we get the magic sword. We actually have one more heart than the minimum we need in order to pick it up, but that's okay because so I like having more health. Reset. If I really wanted to, I could have skipped the two, the heart container and the potion on the coast, but I really want the potion. <laughs> just, just to make it so I can actually finish the run. Because <laughs> I think before I started trying the route that actually gets you a potion. <laughs> 95% of my runs died in level 9. You played this. Understandable. Um, yeah, level 9 like is really scary, even at full power. power. 6 hours in total? And I only have 2 keys, which I Jesus. think is which I think is okay. I just need to make sure I walk into level 9 with 3. I actually don't know if yeah. that's okay. Brez, are we okay for keys? Averages between like, I th I'm, I'm pretty sure we are. Best time last run of 13. You might have to... Because... This room, level nine. this room gives you a key, and if I walk into level 9 with 2, there is a third one I can get pretty easily. Was indeed witnessed. I keep forgetting, I think you need 3 to finish level 9. Yeah, you, you need 3. You can go in with 2, though, and there is 1 on the way. Yeah, 1 in, like, the first room. It's totally cast. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, that was a pretty good time. I was like, yeah. Okay, so this is the first hard room of the game, because it's the first time you actually have to deal with a blue whiz robe. Oh, this is yeah. the but my room. I'm standing right, I'm but standing right in the middle and trying to shoot, uh, trying to fire a sword. Oh come on! Uh, I can't see what? those guys because we're getting like 30 FPS, or like well, I guess 60 uh, no interlacing, right? So we can't yeah. see those guys while they're flickering every odd frame. Thankfully, you don't have to fight too many whiz robes in this dungeon just because, like, not all of them are behind crappy doors. So here's another key I can grab, and I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm okay for keys. Yeah, Prez says having one key going into six is standard. Feels like okay. Okay. We're sharing a room. Whatever. I'm gonna grab this heart because I'm a wuss. Because my stuff's still in there. We'll say it pays off when you get the health refill at the end. Six friends. Sure. I'm like, well, I'm not a. Oh, the bubble got me. Actually, the bubble. The like likes aren't too bad. Because I can just stand in a like like oh. and not get hit by anything else. I didn't and know it's not like I have a shield to lose. You really gotta get that as soon as you touch it, hey? Yeah. Like, like likes are a huge problem for casual runners because you make this huge investment on the big shield that blocks magic shots, and it feels really good to oh. have one, really helpful for swiss rows, and then these like likes just become a total yeah, terror that take away oh, is that your shield. Yeah. Oh. But if you're just and gonna forego a shield. Sounds like good. surrounded by cards. Get a key here. Now you have more than enough keys. Oh. And. 
Let's see how lucky I get in my Gama fights. Congrats. It's even better. If I'm you lucky, I can just fire this and he's. Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Aim for the eyes of Gama, but I feel like the eyes are on top. You total 10? Oh, come on! That was your turn? <laughs> Ooh, this happens a lot to Zelda oh. Runners, honestly. It looks really goofy, but grid-based movement will just do this to people. Oh, so what best. happens if you run out of rupees during that fight? You'll then you gotta leave and find more. <laughs> Thankfully, he only takes one arrow to kill, so... Yeah. Uh, so now from level 6, I warp to level 2... Uh, my counter is on three, so I press down to go to two. Good, I did remember that right. And now we go do level eight. Oops. <laughs> I was looking at my W split. And... Oh yeah, they only take one hit now. Okay, so... Level 8 is hidden under a tree for some reason. Very well hidden. I remember in my first run, I found this dungeon. And then I gotta get my bombs back out. So level 8 is the Dark Nut dungeon. Uh, thankfully I have the magic sword, so no Dark Nut will take more than two hits. I like, nope, I'm leaving. Yeah, you can go here really early and you'll get flopped really hard. It also seems like you can't finish it without a ladder, but you actually can finish it without a ladder. I don't know, I just walked into the first room, saw the plant, and I was like, I shouldn't. This is also the dungeon where you get the magic key, which is basically an infinite key, because Nintendo decided that they really did not put enough keys in this game. Okay, so realistically, what game is that? Um, it's also really good for casual runners, because it means you don't have to worry about keys in level 9, but... Eh. Um... You just get it too late in the game, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, pretty much. And here's the last time I'll have to actually fight Dark Nuts in this game. Oops. Which I would say is worth it. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Aries! For Dark Nuts. I was just wondering if there's something in between. I don't really care about it. For Dank Souls too. Dank Souls. And I gotta watch my bomb count. I believe I have to go into level Dang 9 goals. if I don't want to have to worry about drops. Yeah. And I think I'm okay for- yeah, I'm okay for that. It's like 4 or 5, I think. I think it's 1 to get in and then 4 more inside. Okay, maybe I'll go after that. And then- oh, okay, good. I do have enough keys to finish the game. Just- just pass on capture notes. I'll probably- And then, so we fight Gleok one more time. One, two, so one, two, one, two, one, two. You can just kind of go over the mark in this fight. It's pretty easy. When you're this stacked up. So I guess that one missing heart container is just grabbing a potion. Yeah, it is. We have to meet him. Grabbed yeah. every heart container in the game. She's keeping her silver stuff in my hand. This is incredibly you know? safe. Like, I, I either so get Allison's all hearts and not the blue ring, no. or I get the Allison's blue ring the and skip some heart into, containers. It, uh, into I just prefer, like... Ring. Like, oh, the safety of a red my friend is usually Alice, good enough for level 9 for me. Different friend is, yeah. um... But level 9 still has scary stuff. Her... The people... Who like, here we are back at level 1. Now that we have a ladder, place. we can just go across the river like, towards Death Mountain, the final the area. The previous tenants were yep. taking forever to leave, apparently. Uh, so she had nowhere to keep her stuff for a little while. So that's uh, in my ba That's in my basement. Allison's stuff is in my room, and Allison's stuff is in my basement. <laughs> rocks! Okay. Please! You're so good at juking rocks! I do not like it when people uh, don't get this shit out. See if I can get one more yeah, screen scroll she's, here. She's nope. She's taking it like a champ, but I, I think nah, I'm not going to get too greedy. I'm already behind my PB, so. Limit, Oops, not, that's a heart. Just, just people are clear, so. That's another heart. Yeah. Uh, that's another half heart. Nah, eh, whatever. Well, it's really helpful to have one in that middle room in the first section of level 9. Yeah. So you can just shoot the weird, wormy thing. Well, her mom's in town as well, so there we go. she called me, asking if she could... And then, like, okay, so I'm place. good for keys. Like, okay, I've also had runs, I've I mean, also had a run ruined on me because I forgot a key room. once. You got your place. Mm -hmm. uh, room porting. Okay, so. here you fight a Lanmola, or you don't because you just block glitch right through it. Right. Yeah, you check your block clipping privilege. And take shit. You go take a shit. Oh, it's like, yeah, whole couch and then fucking this guy. God damn it, finally got there. Uh. <laughs> I should be on there, I'm commentating. Oh. But I'm also controlling the splits because I also run this game sometimes. 
I want to get better at Zelda 2, but as it stands, I'm a little better at this game right now, despite not practicing. We're in our last split anyway. And then, right. see if I can do this without getting hit. I haven't had... Nope. Like how it's like... Oh yeah, the estimate's an hour. Nah. Go to the next room. We're gonna get around I'm... 45, I think. Yep. For time. Or like 48. I don't know. Let's wow, look. What's your PB? 44, I think. Your PB is 44 uh... X, right? Uh, it's forty three thirty four now. I got I got a forty three thirty four last night. Nice, nice, nice. And I'm still nice. in the second row of hearts after a whiz room fight. This isn't bad. Nice. World records like nice. thirty four though. Nice. It's like thirty one is now, isn't yeah, it? It's like low thirties. It's pretty ridiculous. Like. It's more a case of just like grinding for runs to like get timely bomb drops and stuff. Pretty much. Okay, so I can do a block clip through this, but I was trying it last night and I really wasn't having much luck. So I'm just gonna fight this thing normally. Patra has this is the, the blocks. Th this is the easier of the Patras anyway, because it doesn't like shoot its kids out at you. <laughs> yeah. I lay awake at night wondering like what kind of function it uses to make it look like the ring is rotating like that. Turning a circle into an ellipsis. <sighs> okay, so this is the silver arrow room, and hopefully I get some. Hopefully I get a good fight here. Ah, nope, I hit a bubble. It's not a good fight. There's a bomb. Oh, wait, you need those bombs, right? You need both of them. Uh, I do need both of them actually. Oh, uh, whatever. I'm actually. I still have a full row of hearts, which means I might be. I might even be able to do this without a potion, but we'll see what happens. Because I believe there is one more mandatory Wizrobe fight, and then I think I'm good. It's, it's a smaller one, though. Yeah. Uh, so, actually, there's technically two, but you've seen this room layout before. You know what happens. This room is a risk for me, because i got to fight more Wizrobes, but you got block clipping powers. <sighs> Assuming I can do it? Oh! Red Wizrobe shot to the face. Those hurt now. Not risking it. Wizrobe shots do two hearts with a blue ring. Yeah. You're, gonna, you're using it pretty early here. I am, but you know what? I, I don't really care. Fair enough. It's, it's a marathon. I'd rather not die in the middle of it. And I have, an, I have another potion use anyway. Yeah, if, we, if we do another marathon, we should race this game. Oh, totally. I'll probably start practicing it a little more. I don't know how I feel about learning screen right now. I want to get better fundamentals first. It's a good idea. Like, the route I'm taking doesn't really require screen wrapping in any way, it just makes certain parts faster. Yeah. And again, that's what I said about Dark Souls, too. Oh! Bomb drops! Means I don't have to worry about bombs for the rest of the game. I was going to actually use some on a wizard robe, though I don't need to anymore. <sighs> and they spawn you on the right side of the room and you gotta get to the left. Yeah, drop it there you and that's probably the hardest part of the game now. Uh, yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Do you know Come how on. to uh, like, lock Ganon in the corner? Uh, I can't do it consistently. Right. I can't do it consistently. Yeah, it works. Of people it looks easy, but I've never been able to do it. I don't I'm not really sure. All I really do is stand in, I stand in the corner and just fire my sword until he gets hit by it. And even then, like, I'm not entirely sure how, like, getting lucky on it works. Alright. Um, this actually isn't too bad. This is probably going to be a sub-45 if I'm lucky. Yeah, sub-46. It definitely sub 46 as long as I don't do something silly like die. That's impossible. So. I still have a blue potion. So Ganon kind of swirls around the room while invisible. He often respawns in the bottom left corner, though. Oh, come on. You also don't want to get body checked. Yeah, don't get body checked by Ganon. He does four hearts if you're not armored. I think you need <sighs> four hits or five hits to make him turn red and then silver. I <sighs> think it's four? Come on. Ganon, you troll us. There we go. Oh, there, there we go. go. Okay. Uh, Wait, I gotta touch the big Triforce of Power. Time when I touch Zelda. Yeah. Or, time when I reach Zelda. It's gonna be 44-31. No. I got 44-31. 44-31. 
I got 44, 27, 85. Okay, it's close. a 45. That is that is still better than the goal I was going for. So, woo! Nice. Yay! Nice. Repeat estimate for us. We're back on track. Yay! Yay! Shoutouts to Time. <laughs> Shoutouts to uh, How Time and Space what Work. What is the estimated start time for BioForce 8? Actually, somewhat un somewhat unrelated. Uh, 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 there's this one red time uh, player, uh, player uh, on YouTube. Uh, 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 what's world record for this game? Doesn't play video games. Uh, okay. Thirty-one something. My, my wow. run for Majora's Mask is two o nine, and my SP is three hours. So hopefully that'll do it. Oh, oh, I'll, I'll get us we'll be back on track on my run. Unless you like epically fuck it up. Oh, I can do that. He can. I I I fucked up my run. Yeah, no, I was I was there when he fucked when he fucked it, and then fucking hard lock happened. <laughs> that that right. whole run right, was we're just a disaster after really that. Quick. Thanks Goodbye, for Matt. sending us your run talking chicken. Oh no no problem. Um, uh, I've al I've also recorded the run. I might get it up on YouTube at the very minimal. I'll try to get my PB up that I got yesterday and see see where it goes. Um, I'm gonna end the Skype call then, and I'll just go Let get back in the stream chat. Plug it. Take care.